It's a fish. Oh, good walleye. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, it's so cool. There's my spoon. It sees it. It sees it. Come on. Give me another chance. Come on. No, he thought doesn't have it. Doesn't have it. Come on, give me one more chance, please, buddy. Come on. No, I'm not falling for it that time. Come on. Come on. Look at that, he's missing it. I'm not falling for it this time. Come on. He's not eating it. I was setting the hook too early, way too early. Again, he's not even eating it. Come on. It's still dark, it, it's still a little bit darkish outside so the visibility on the camera is not amazing yet. No, come on. Come on, buddy. Look at that. I set the hook twice on watching it instead of feel. Look at that, like what is he doing? He's like, he's not eating it. Come on, buddy. There's where a camera can mess with you. Come on. What is he doing? I don't have any bait on there anymore. He knocked all my mealworms off. I had him some mealworms on here. Well, welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and this is the outdoors. And uh, you just watched me start my day off messing up a fish. I, I don't know if I could have really caught that fish, even if I wouldn't have set the hook too early a few times, just for the reason that I, he wasn't eating it. He looked like he was eating. He was coming up to it and honestly it looked like it was going in his mouth And every time I go to set it there'd be nothing there, but after watching him after he's coming beside it And I don't know what he was doing, but I did when I, I set the hook twice I knocked off my bait off of my spoon. I had some mealworms on there, so that didn't help at all So I had just a, a naked spoon down there, which usually can work. Oh, there's another another mark on the hummingbird. Here it comes Here it comes so can I get some sweet revenge? Can I get some sweet revenge? Come on. It honestly looks like the same fish you. Can I get some revenge? Come on. I got, no, are you, that time, that time I did nothing wrong. That time I just didn't hook up. Are you kidding me? That is so unlucky. He's, where is he? That was so unlucky, unbelievable. Now my, my mealworms came off again. That time I did nothing wrong. That time he ate it and it just didn't hook up. Super finicky bite, like super finicky. Well, now you watch me uh, biff on two occasions. Oh, I saw the mark on the hummingbird first. I'm using, today I'm not using the quad camera like I have in a lot of my recent videos. I'm actually using the HDI 7i Pro which is one of my favorite cameras and I've got it angled at like a 45 degree down just so I can get a little bit further away and just try to capture some more like just more what the fish are doing the, the a lot of times like with the quad camera the cameras where it's pointed right at the fish you got to get it a little bit closer this allows me to get it a little bit further away up higher the fish doesn't detect the camera as much and I usually get some just better eats in that sense so pretty cool start just not Clayton Schick uh, style right there Mm, Mark, I'm pounding out some beef jerky. Mmm. I think that Mark picked up my that Mark that Mark picked up my minnow. Mm-hmm. Got him. Nice. Just enjoying some breakfast beef jerky, and my live minnow gets crushed. 
Ooh, 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 that might be a good eater right there. Easy, got me. That thing crushed the live minnow. They crushed it. Frisky at the hole. I was hoping it might be a good one to take home, but I think it might be a bit too big. We're gonna find out. No, a little too big. 18 and a half, need to release this one back into the wild. Thank you for the excitement though. Oh, there you go. Of course I was hammering some breakfast beef jerky and the fish comes by. You just have to be eating, I think, to catch fish. I think that's the trick. Well, we're on the board anyway. That's all right, we're on the board. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Lots of time. Come on, where'd you go? Oh, here it comes. Here comes a perch. Here he comes. Come on. Nice perch. Thick perch. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, here it comes. That's a big perch. Big perch. Come on. Big perch. That one's bigger than the other one for sure. Oh, come on. There's two of them down there right now. Oh yeah, got his attention. Come on, that's a big perch. Jumbo perch. Jumbo perch. Come on, here he comes. Here he comes. Come on, you. Come on. Oh, eat it. Suck it in. Doesn't have the hook. Come on. Got him. Big perch. That was cool. That was really cool. I was patient with that one. On like the wall and was, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is giant perch. That is a giant perch. Holy cow. Huge, huge perch. Come on, let's get you unhooked and show you off. 13 and three quarter inch perch. I think that is my PB perch right there. That thing is an absolute giant. Look at that thing. Unreal. Wow, dinner plate, baby. I, was ex I knew it was a big perch on the camera, but I didn't know it was that big. Wow, like I could tell it was big. And I was patient with that thing. I waited, I waited. Came up to it, and it a few times and I didn't pull it away, I didn't pull it away. Sucked it in, I nailed it. PB perch, unbelievable. I came for a walleye perch combo day, hoping that I'd catch a big perch. And I just exceeded my expectations for the day. That thing was a tank. So I'm using a little 1 8 ounce Lindy quiver spoon. Pealy tiny with uh, mealworms. I had two or three mealworms on there. And yeah, unbelievable. The funny thing was there was two perch there, and it usually it doesn't work this way. I actually caught the bigger out of the two. Usually it's the other way around, right? You hear so many stories from guys. Oh, you should have seen the one that was right beside it. Well, I caught that one. Oh, 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 look at this while I charge it. Got him. Missed him. As if. Oh, as if. He's up top. He's up high right now. Come back down. Look at the yard sale. I don't know how he's coming in again. It's a little guy. I wonder he didn't hook up. Come on, buddy. Come back. I don't got any bait on there. I'm gonna try to get you to eat it out of the out of the sand. Pound the bottom. Pound the bottom. Pound the bottom. Pound the bottom. When I don't have fish on the flash or on the screen, a lot of times I'm just pounding the bottom. Pound the bottom, pound the bottom. Make some sediment, stir up some bottom. Attract whatever could be in the area. 
close by over to investigate. Sometimes I'll give it some bigger rips too and let it fall. Like you can catch a fish's attention from farther away when something's f falling up high, right? So sometimes pull it up, drop it back down. Pull it up, drop it down. Not to say you're not gonna catch fish, just leaving it dangle there and they come by. But I like keeping a pretty active bait when there's no fish around at least to at least draw them over or try to draw them over. No, that's a smaller one. I'm trying to take it away from that one. Oh, oh no. Oh, here comes even a smaller one. No, you can't have it. You gotta get it right there, the bigger guy. No. I'm literally trying to take it away. That one will be okay, but I want that first one that came in. Uh... Okay, well, I'm gonna have to settle with that one. I wanted that first one that came in, but maybe he'll go to the live minnow yet. That's not a bad one, but... That first one was the biggest one for sure. Well, not like that first perch that I caught, but not a not a bad one. Not a not a jumbo. That uh, the first one that came in, I'll say, wasn't as big as that first one that I caught either. But it was definitely the biggest out of the three. I was trying to keep it away from the smallest one, which I did, but I couldn't get it away from the medium-sized one. And like I said, I've been seeing some perch on the camera kind of just swim by, so I went to a really small tungsten jig here called the tungsten toad I believe oh oh no no I haven't marked a fish forever it's three o'clock I've marked a fish forever I don't think I did anything wrong and all of a sudden bang one fish comes cruising in there and just takes off I don't think I did anything wrong on that I really don't oh, are you kidding me well that was at least encouraging I guess it's been tough. I haven't seen another fish since that last perch I caught. I might have saw one other small walleye come in. Now that I think of it, maybe. Not too long after that. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I did anything wrong in that one. I really don't. Losing visibility of my camera. I'm gonna pull her up and just hope I still get some kind of prime time bite here not a uh, barn burner day that's for sure oh the mark charged how did that not connect charged it ate it everything didn't hook up then come back one more chance buddy feels like my middle head's gone maybe he'll still eat it come on got him even with the minnow head gone we got him finally 454 jeez nice fish well it's been slow but you can usually count on prime time on this lake it turned into something he's gonna come home with me he's gonna be supper i'm surprised he gave me a second chance the way these fish have been pretty tentative his first swing at me totally got the minnow head off i could feel the spoon lighten up quite a bit but he gave me another shot Come back. Come on, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, two marks, two marks. Come on, come on. Oh, oh. came up, it's gonna come. come back, here it comes. Some mark coming from the bottom too. A little bit of competition's always good. Ooh, the bottom one, if that's one mark, it's bigger. Come on. Find that live mineral. There's another mark coming from the bottom too. Also, three marks here. All of a sudden, the bottom just lit up. Good old prime time. Good old prime time. That live mineral's gonna get picked off. Watch. Oh, look at that mark coming from the bottom. Shoot straight up and put on the brakes. Oh, come on. As if you didn't crush it. Look how fast it came. 
There we go. That thing crushed it. I'm surprised it missed it the first time with how much speed it had. Little guys, little guys. Tiny. Still using that same spoon, that one eighth ounce quiver spoon. And if you guys want to get that spoon, there's a link below to lurenet.com and use the discount code Clayton15 and you can get 15% off of anything on that website. And they got quite a bit of fishing tackle on there. Lots of different stuff. If you guys are like me and a tackle junkie, you need lots of tackle. Oh, wow. <laughs> that mark just appeared out of nowhere and it stopped my spoon from falling to the bottom. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> While I caught it and the on the way down, which is obviously normal, it happens. But I just kind of wasn't expecting it. Caught it in midair, you did, buddy. Still pretty tiny. That live minnow is uh, not super successful today. Again, here we go. <laughs> Little guys. Feels good to finally bend the rod a little bit though. The way the bites, I guess the, the bite's been slow, but also I haven't had a pile of fish around either. So kind of a little bit of a combination of both. I honestly think the tougher the day is, the more likely you should be to stay as late as you can because if the bite hasn't happened all day, there's a good chance it could happen at night. If you had a smoke show of a day, well, maybe the bite happened all day and you won't have that evening bite, but I just was counting down the hours when it was so slow. I'm like, come on, hopefully there's something at night, right? Like now I'm just waiting for, now I'm waiting for that one big bite. Oh no, head camera just died and I got a mark coming. Actually, he's got it, of course. Head camera's died, dead though. Just beeped, just died. At least it's not a monster. At least it's not a monster and there you go, thank you. Oh, hooks in the ceiling. Hm. That's a great place for it. A little better mark maybe too, actually. Come on. Got him to eat it right out of the sand. Maybe I was wrong with the better mark. I was definitely wrong with the better mark. Just got my gain cranked up a little bit higher. Ooh, I can't believe I said that was a little bit better mark. Whoops. Whoops. A bit of a bite going on though. That live minnow is. I don't know, buddy. You're not doing so well. And all about the spoon. Well, I fished way into the dark with uh, nothing more to report. The small fish stopped. I never caught a big fish tonight. That's the way it goes. But this is gonna be a short video because I did catch my personal best perch today. And how do I not make a video with that? I'll just keep this one short, sweet, simple. A little bit underwater stuff. The quiver spoon, it seems to be a hot spoon for sure. So go pick some of those up. And like I said, use my code Clayton15. Thank you everybody for watching and don't forget, get outside.